So this is a quick video on multi-grade oils, particularly the viscosity rating of them. So when you buy an oil, you typically see something like zero W40. So what does that mean? We're not going to give a very, very simple explanation, but I'm not going to go too much into the complexities of what this significantly means. But at the end of the video, you'll have a good understanding of how these numbers are actually derived at and how to choose one that's appropriate to your car and where you actually use it. So say 50 years ago, if you go back, you would choose an oil appropriate to the season. The temperature operating range of oil was rather limited. So in the winter, you would tend to have a thinner oil that flowed better from cold. And in the summer, you would switch to a thicker oil. So we talk about the viscosity of oil. So viscosity is the amount of stickiness of the oil, its resistance to run or to flow. So something like honey has a very high viscosity and water has a very low viscosity. So the numbers on the oil actually indicate the viscosity or the stickiness of the oil. The higher the number, the more viscous the oil will be. So the first number prefixing the W is a winter rating. So the way this is measured is actually set into brackets. So if you buy a 0W, 5W, 15 or 20, it's really telling you the maximum viscosity, the most sticky it is at a set temperature. And the 0W is measured at minus 40 degrees. The 5W is measured at minus 35 degrees. The 15W is measured at minus 25 degrees. And the 20W is measured at minus 20 degrees. So that first number is not directly comparable, but it's telling you really the operating range of the car. So if you live in a very cold climate, for example, you might want to go with a lower number. So the manufacturer takes this into account when making recommendations. The higher number is measured more consistently at 100 degrees centigrade. So there's lots of ways of measuring viscosity. So a lot of people would use the technical expression of centistokes, which is shown as CST. And that's really a measure of the kinematic viscosity, the resistive flow of the fluid under just gravity. There's nothing pushing it. It's just looking at gravity's effect on the liquid and it measures the flow. So they would measure this in a, a tube, a little capillary tube, and the speed at which it flows around this capillary tube will set the CST, the centistokes rating. So a 40 spec oil will typically range, because this is a range we're talking about on this uh, SAE rating, from 12.5 to 16.3 centistokes. So looking at the numbers on the oil, the bigger the difference in numbers, the wider the operating range. So is that a good thing? Well, if you're operating in a wide range of temperatures, yes, it is. But for most drivers, the engine is going to warm up, it's going to reach its operating temperature and stay there most of its time. So you're just thinking about really the warm up temperatures that the car is experiencing when you first start the engine. So does it make sense to go with the thinnest or the least viscous oil as possible? Well, it kind of makes sense to do that when you think about it. But in reality, there's nothing further from the truth. When an engine is cold, the components effectively are contracted. They expand through heat. So the clearances inside the engine are much larger when the engine is cold. So if the oil is too thin at this low temperature, it is less viscous, it's going to run into places you really don't want it running in. So you really do need to choose the oil appropriately. It's not just a matter of deciding on the temperature of the environment you're driving in. You've got to think about the engine, the engine design, the clearances. So a lot of people with higher mileage cars will accept that the clearances have somewhat changed through wear and tear. So they'll adjust the oil grade that they use. But for most people, sticking with the manufacturer's recommended grade is the way to go and changing the oil maybe more frequently than the manufacturer is suggesting that we do is also beneficial to the long term reliability of the car. So interestingly, the CST of water, if you measure it at 20 degrees, it's just over one CST. And if you look at something like honey, you're looking at 7000 CST and olive oil goes in at around 40 CST, obviously, depending on the grade of 
honey and the grade of olive oil is going to have a bearing on the CST or the centistokes rating. So we don't buy oils based on centistokes because it would be even more confusing to have such a precise number. You wouldn't know what to do with it. So the SAE viscosity ratings have been determined to basically give the oil manufacturers an operating range for their oil to work in. So when you buy an oil, you know it's going to work well in this range of temperatures. So just to recap, the number before the W is the winter rating, and it gives you an idea of the extremes of cold that the oil will still flow in. And the upper temperature is a consistent comparison between the oil types. It's measured at 100 degrees, and it tells you the viscosity of the oil. So at 100 degrees, a 0W40 will be exactly the same as a 15W40. It's that upper temperature, the 40, that is measured at 100 degrees. So that is consistent across the lot. But the W number effectively is scaled, it's bracketed off, but it's telling you a lot about the temperature range. So I just hope that's cleared up some confusion about the ratings on oil. It's not the only thing you should go by. It would be a mistake to read the packaging and just make a decision based on the viscosity of the oil. There's so many other factors, and I've done other videos that go into the complexities of oil, the formulations, the additive packs, how frequently to change it, and the problems you get, maybe if you put too much oil in your engine or you have too little. So be sure to check out those videos. I've lined them up here in this playlist for you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you can boot that like button, we'd really appreciate that because that helps us to get out there. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.